Let's take a look at what we can do with our SUMIF function. So SUMIF allows us to report pretty easily on data, just like the COUNTIF function. So let's say I wanted to know what my breakdown of sales were by product. I can do that pretty easily with the SUMIF function. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet. We'll call this sales by product. And I'm going to say, put in here product name and total sales. And then I'm going to use that sort unique function. Well, the two functions, the two sort, or the one sort and the one unique function. And I'm going to select unique values from, uh, from my sales sheet uh, in column B. And you can see here we have these product one, product two, and product three. Uh, let's go ahead and bold these so they stand out a little bit more. Now I can use sum if. So I can use sum if, and I'm going to first select uh, the, the column I want to match, which is the B column. Oh, it looks like that didn't take here. Sum if, and we're going to select the B column. And we want to match this value, product one. And we want to sum the C column, which is where our prices are. And if we hit enter, we can see the breakdown, and we can paste those to the other values. Let's go ahead and make those currencies with no decimal point showing. And you can see, well, the bulk of our product sales come from product one. And we could actually take all of this and insert a nice little chart if we like. So we'll go ahead and insert a chart. And the pie chart comes up by default. You can see that does show it's a big portion of the sales. Uh, but we could also make this a column chart and just call this sales by product and here you can see this is also showing us oh that's a pretty good visual representation so pretty easy to power that data just using that simple sum if function we could also do this by payment type you know if we want to know what our breakdown was by payment type we could create a, a tab in our spreadsheet called sales by payment type and then we could use you know, payment type and total sales let's go ahead and bold those again and then we can use that that combination of sort and unique to come up with all the values we need. Uh, we don't have to do that. We could enter these one by one, you know, but this makes it pretty easy. Uh, and we get those values. Now we can use some if. We're going to come back to our sales sheet. We're going to select the D column. We're going to match to Amex. And then we're going to enter our sum column, which is our prices. And here you can see we can copy those and you can see, well, Visa is, is obviously pretty popular here. So we make those number values and we can remove those decimal points. So that makes it pretty easy to report on just what the where the payments are coming from. Um, so uh, we might also want to know by country, perhaps, where our, our, uh, our sales are coming from. And you can see here we have some countries. We have a lot of different countries where uh, all of these payments are coming from. So if I create a new, new tab and we'll say sales by country. Um, We'll go ahead and use country and total sales, and we will use that sort and unique to get the values. And we'll go ahead and pick those so we can start with G2 and then get all of our values. And you can see we have a lot of countries here. Now, we can let's go ahead and bold our two headers again so that we can see that they stand out a little bit. Now we can use sum if, and we'll go ahead and select our country column. Looks like that didn't quite take that time. We'll go ahead and sum if we'll pick up our country column. Then we'll use uh, our match to this value. And then we'll use the sum column as our sales again. Now it looks like it picked up in the middle there. Let's, uh, looks like we got, we got a bit of a cursor, uh, aggressive problem there. There we go. So make sure your function matches this. Then we hit enter and we can see the total sales for Argentina or all of our, you know, any one of these. We can just go ahead and paste that all the way up. And you can see where we have different sales. Now, if we want to know international sales versus domestic sales, assuming that we're running this in the United States, uh, we don't have a function where we could say, well, some if not United States. It's not quite able to do that. But what we can do, which is kind of going to give us the same, uh, the same value, is, you know, if we say domestic sales, that's pretty easy. We can just use, we can just reference our, United States. So that's going to give us the domestic sales. We could also say international sales. And that's a little that's pretty easy to calculate as well. All we have to do is add these values together. So uh, we can use we could either add each one together, we could use the sum function, and it's probably easiest to just use the sum function here to add all of those values together and then just subtract the United States value. 
So here you can see pretty easy to use that sum if function to break down our data and uh, really understand you know how the breakdown or how the makeup of our different uh, inputs are. Thanks for watching and we'll get into some other logical functions in our next video.